Hello and welcome to the Sound of Science, the place where we deconstruct unscientific reasoning. Please consider to like and subscribe if you support science. Thanks for watching. Today I want to discuss another questionable video that was made by Matt Powell. Matt Powell is a Christian who makes videos on YouTube in which he promotes the Christian belief he thinks in his own way. Now, in an earlier video, I showed you that Matt Powell doesn't seem to understand statistics. That video of Matt Powell was a complete logic fail. Therefore, I was surprised to see that Matt Powell gets comments on his video that are like, Yeah, keep telling the truth, Matt. While in this particular video, Matt Powell obviously was telling a lot of nonsense. And that made me think that Matt Powell simply not understanding statistics is the optimistic explanation. Maybe it's worse. Maybe he does understand that what he says is nonsense and perhaps something else is going on. Maybe Powell tries to deceive a gullible audience into some kind of narrative. That would be a much darker scenario that I hoped not to be true. To find out more about that, I thought it would be relevant to watch some more of Matt Powell's videos. And so I did. But what I found was pretty shocking, and I'd like to demonstrate that by discussing another of Matt Powell's videos, being this one which is called Matt Powell's Response to Pride Month. It's a very short video of less than a minute in which Matt Powell criticizes a song that is called A Message from the Gay Community, which was uploaded on YouTube by the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus. Now, the song was uploaded about a year ago and resulted in a huge controversy mainly in conservative circles because the lyrics of the song say stuff like will convert your children and were coming for your children. It even resulted in threats towards some of the people who were involved in making the song. But for everyone who takes time to listen more than a few seconds to this song, it is instantly clear that the song is a satirical message that is aimed at those who deny equal rights to gay people. Looking back, one could argue if the joke was cleverly designed or if it even was funny. But what you can't do after a full year of discussion and clarification regarding this song is still ignoring the joke and suggesting that this song has some kind of malicious intent. So let's see what Matt Powell has to say about this song. Type in, we're coming after your children on YouTube. This is the first thing that comes up. A message from the gay community performed by the San Francisco Gay Men's Choir. They sing a whole song, right, about how they're coming after our children. They say, we're coming after the children. We're coming after the children. We'll convert them, they said. Wait a minute, I thought that being gay wasn't a choice. So, what Matt Powell is suggesting here is that the song calls for converting children into being gay. And that is such a blatant misrepresentation of what the song actually says that it's totally shocking to me that Matt Powell is allowed to say such things on YouTube. The song clearly is a parody and the conversion that the song mentions is a reference to the reprehensible gay conversion therapies that are practiced sometimes in America and other countries. It's totally horrible that people try to cure other people from being who they are. This is basically forcing people into another identity and it makes me sick. This song is obviously a parody and no sane person would ever take the phrases will convert your children literally. But there is a much bigger problem with the way Matt Powell evaluates the song. You see, will convert your children is only half the sentence. If we have a look at the original upload of the song, we can hear what they actually sing. Let's listen to the original song. As we celebrate pride on the progress we've made over these past years, there's still work to be done. So to those of you out there who are still working against equal rights, we have a message for you. 
will convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. We'll convert your children. We'll make them tolerant and fair. We'll convert your children. Someone's gotta teach them not to hate. So, in reality, the song says, We'll convert your children, we'll make them tolerant and fair, and we'll convert your children. Someone's got to teach them not to hate. So the song does nowhere even remotely suggest to convert children into being gay. What the song does in reality is suggesting to convert children of bigots into being tolerant and fair and not hateful towards other people. That is the message of the song. Matt Powell is so blatantly misrepresenting the message of this song and it's done by so obviously ignoring the second half of the very sentence that is supposed to represent the key element of his plea that it's hard for me to believe that he didn't do this on purpose. All that Matt Powell had to do was reading the entire sentence to his audience and not just the first half. And then all of his viewers would have known that the conversion part of the lyrics is not about converting children into being gay, but instead converting children into caring and loving people who do not hate others for who they are. But by not showing the entire sentence, Matt Powell attributes a totally different meaning to the song that was never there to begin with. And judging from the comments below his video, some of his audience buys this load of nonsense. Look, here are some of the comments below the video. This is the content I love you for, Matt. Really? You love him for making you look like an idiot since you believe his misinformation? Oh dear. Thank you, Matt, for talking about this. That little song they came up with was frightening to hear. No, it wasn't frightening to hear because you didn't even listen to it. For else you would have known that Matt is talking nonsense. This is sick. Continue to stand for the truth. By the way, we have the same first name. Really? The same first name? How special is that? Imagine there being another Christian in America with the name Matthew. I mean, what are the odds? This just can't be an accident. And then there's this comment, and this is absolutely one of the worst ones, because it even refers to the book of Leviticus. That's the part of the Bible that is known for stating that gay people should be put to death. Matt, you totally misrepresent the song in a reprehensible way. You try to make your audience believe that the song is about converting children into being gay, while in reality the song is about converting misguided children into being tolerant and fair and not hateful towards others. You and your audience don't even have to sit through the entire song to understand that. You only have to finish the sentence you already started. It's truly disturbing that you spread harmful disinformation like this. YouTube is a platform that was meant to spread and share knowledge, experience, hope, entertainment and inspiration. Matt, with your video, you do the exact opposite of that. You misrepresent the words and the intention of a song, which results in questionable disinformation that some of your viewers even believe. It is time, Matt, to think more carefully before you upload your videos, because by uploading this kind of nonsense, you really harm people. YouTube is a platform where everyone, regardless of their religion, ethnicity, gender, age or place of birth, should feel welcome and safe. YouTube is meant as a platform where people from all walks of life build communities around the topics that they care for. We don't need to agree on everything all the time. The beauty of YouTube is that we also get the opportunity here to disagree and have a debate about what we do, what we think and what we believe. 
and that is kind of what I hope to do with my channel. I believe in science, and I evaluate the reasons that people have to believe things. I put them to the test with the scientific method, and while being critical towards each other, we should always remain respectful. We do that by not misrepresenting each other's positions, choices and behavior, and we should never misrepresent or deny each other's nature and being. And that, Matt, that is exactly one of the golden rules of respect that you have so blatantly disregarded. So, Matt, please do better next time. I hope this explanation was of any help. So thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.